Hello and welcome back to the David67 Celtic News YouTube channel. This is the second video of the day. There was an earlier profile analysis stats and video highlights video earlier today for Alex Valley, the uh, young Barcelona left back that we are expected to be signing on loan anytime now. The second video of today, Tuesday the 27th, is going to be a wee roundup of all the transfer stories and loan stories and rumours um, that have been circulating uh, over the course of today. Before we do crack on with the video, please do, if you are new to the channel and you like the style of these videos and the channel and the mixed content on the channel, please do click that subscribe button, keep the numbers pushing up towards 900 and then hopefully to the ultimate target of a thousand. Uh, do click the like button if you like the video and comment section open for pleasant, polite, constructive debating points, discussion, thoughts on the topics of this video and any other current Celtic issues. Is that Celtic have lodged two bids for new players. The first of those is the young Polish attacking midfielder and striker um, Matthias Bogusz, who plays for LAFC in Major League Soccer. It's thought that uh, the player himself is very, very keen to come to Celtic. He wants to have Champions League games under his belt to further his Polish international career. And so uh, it's thought that signing Bogusz in terms of agreeing his contract, etc., shouldn't be a problem. However, there are one or two issues regarding what exactly is LA's asking price. His contract does have two to three years still to run. And LA are keen to keep him as he has been a major success for them this season. It's thought that Celtic's bid is probably in the region of £8 million, which is thought to be around about the asking price LA are looking for for Bogush. Um, one or two issues with dealing with an American club because of time difference with obviously LA being seven, eight hours different from Glasgow. The bid has been lodged and a response from LA is currently awaited and it is thought according to several Expert sources that uh, negotiations are active and ongoing. The other bid that Celtic have made is for the American um, international centre back, Austin Trusty, plays for Sheffield United. Thought that the bid for Trusty is around £5 million. Um, transfer valuations for Trusty do vary um, and some put him in the six mm. to eight million pound category and the fact that Celtic have agreed a two and a half million transfer fee to sell Mikey Johnson to Sheffield United it may be that the gap between um, Sheffield United's asking price and Celtic's offer may be mopped up by using Mikey Johnson as a part exchange in that deal I've put together a few wee stats regarding Austin Trusty. He's 26 years old, 6 foot 3, 2 caps for America, and is a squad teammate of our current star centre back Cameron Carter Vickers. He had several seasons in Major League Soccer for Philadelphia and later Colorado then was transferred to Arsenal, although has not played for Arsenal. He was then sent off for a successful loan with Birmingham in 22-23, a season in which he played 48 games, scoring four goals with two assists. He then went back to 
Arsenal, uh, who then sold him to Sheffield United and in the 23-24 season in the English Premier League for Sheffield United. Trusty played 36 times, scoring one goal. Sheffield United were relegated, and so he's now down playing in the English Championship. And it is thought that uh, Trusty is keen to move on. Sheffield United, although they may be reluctant to sell him, um, do have a set asking price, and it's thought that Celtic may well be close or have achieved that with or without the Mikey Johnson two and a half million part exchange part as well. Over his whole career for uh, Colorado, Philadelphia, Birmingham and Sheffield United, he has 252 games, eight goals, four assists with over his career, 35 yellow cards and two red cards. Looking at his stats uh, over the seasons in the English Championship with Birmingham and the English Premier League with Sheffield United. He does have good stats for short and medium passes, not quite so good for longer passes, um, not particularly good at crossing, although not terribly important for a centre-back, which is his primary position. Uh, he can play left-back as well, but primarily a centre-back and 205 of his 252 games have been a centre-back and the rest as a left-back. Um, defensive stats are good, such as winning tackles, winning the ball in the air, um, blocking shots, interceptions, breaking up play, clearances, um, all are good. And so those are all very encouraging features. Haven't done as yet a highlights reel compilation for Trusty and so if things do progress positively I will do a wee highlights reel and fuller profile of Trusty in due course. One player definitely leaving Celtic is Gustav Lagerbielka. He's off to 20 Ongshade in Holland for a season-long loan. There is no purchase clause at the end of it and so um, at the end of that loan deal, Lagavielka will be back at Celtic, although it uh, may precipitate an uh, actual transfer offer bid from uh, FC20 if things go well for Lagavielka this season. He's apparently had his medical over in Holland, and it's just a quest question now of signing the contract. And so that should be all confirmed uh, by the end of today or the start of tomorrow. Uh, Odson Edward at Crystal Palace appears to have been frozen out uh, with very limited playing time under the new coach. And also talk of Crystal Palace buying in a new centre forward. There have been stories that Odson Edward is being lined up to come to, back to Celtic to compete alongside Kyogo and Ida as three strikers for Celtic. I find that um, very, very implausible. His wage demands would be very high. The transfer fee from Crystal Palace also likely to be very high. Um, and uh, I suspect there could be several other offers from English Premier League clubs and clean clubs in countries such as France, where Edouard originates from. A couple of players who were said to be lined up to be coming to Celtic, Owen Beck of Liverpool, and Hannibal Mejbri of Man United. They both appear now to have moved on to other clubs. Um, Beck is going for a season-long loan to Blackburn in the English Championship, and at the end of that, we'll go back to Liverpool, as there's no transfer clause in that deal. Uh, however, Hannibal of Man United, the Tunisian young international, he is thought to be going to Burnley on a permanent deal. And so neither is an ongoing option for Celtic. So just double checking all the Celtic news sources, at Sky Sports News and also a corresponding German um, sports channel is that Celtic have gone back in for a second bid for Arnie Engels of Augsburg. This uh, second bid is thought to be £9 million which 
uh, may just meet the bottom end of what Augsburg are looking for from all the original sources. However, um, the German source is suggesting that Augsburg might well be now looking for something in the region of £10.9 million up to £12 million. Um, but um, both the Sky Sports News and the German Sports News experts both say that Celtic and Augsburg are in deep negotiations uh, and discussions and the overriding feature also is that Engels is very keen to leave Augsburg and move to Celtic for the Champions League games. It's confirmed that Engels has agreed with Celtic the terms of his contract if and when he comes to Celtic so hopefully over the next couple of days that reaches a conclusion positive for Celtic and we can sign a very talented, very versatile player uh, for Celtic who could turn into be a great star for Celtic over the next few years. There are a couple other deals in the background which may be being kept back in case um, the negotiations with Augsburg and or Ellie don't go so well as it's thought that Celtic do remain in contact with FC Lausanne regarding Alvin Sanchez and there is in the background the possibility of Luke McCowan coming from Dundee to Celtic to cover uh, the midfield uh, backup positions. All the various different stories and rumours etc um, all accurate to the best of my knowledge having gone through lots and lots and lots and lots of various different football sites, transfer sites, Celtic fan sites and news sites. Um, with the way things are at the moment, it could be by the time the video is all up and running on YouTube, things may well have progressed. And if so, I will update and clarify in a new video tomorrow. Just to finish off, we quick reminder, encouragement. If you are new to the channel and not yet subscribed, please do click that subscribe button click the like button and comment section open as always for pleasant polite debate and discussion so till tomorrow goodbye and hail hail